My name is Barbara Kahn. I'm a retired social worker. My relevant experience is over 40 years of participating in the school district through attending board meetings, through PTA, through many, many activities. I have been a board watcher for that many years, and I'm concerned now because of the changes in our district. I think the school district is on a steady keel. It always has been. There have never been, there was a period when there was a dramatic shift, but it was many years ago when we went from being a really conservative, old-fashioned district to a more open district when parents were allowed into the classroom. But at this point, I think academically, we're pretty steady. We make steady gains. Some of the gains are simply the result of children having taken tests over so many years that they've learned how to do it. And so I don't consider the district on the brink of anything significant one way or the other. It's not my concern. My top priority is transparency. I am concerned about the fact that so many decisions are preordained before they even hit the public. I'm concerned that the superintendent controls what the board does, that the board seems to ask no questions, although I understand that the superintendent meets with each board member before the board meeting to ensure that there is little discussion. It's not a violation of the Brown Act, but I think it is a violation of the spirit of the Brown Act. I think that there should be more discussion, public discussion among board members about significant decisions that are being made that will impact this community and that this community clearly cares about. Well, when you read the master plan, the very first section deals with re, re forming, redesigning, something about the district office. I think that's a mistake for a master plan. I think the master plan should be about schools, it should be about kids, it should be about the, how we teach, about who we teach. I think it should be about equity. I think that there are many issues that don't seem to be addressed in the master plan. I also participated in the master plan at the beginning. I went to a couple of meetings and I stopped going because I felt that it was superficial that it wasn't really engaging the community. I had participated in a master plan a number of years ago where we visited schools and other communities, where we learned, where we explored. I think none of this went on in this master plan. I think the focus was preordained as so much is going on in the district. At this point, my top donor is myself. Um, I have I've sent out a fundraising letter, and the uh, largest check I've received is $150 from somebody who doesn't live in Alameda, but who has been a mentor of mine politically for a long time, and who I really trust, and who trusts me. I will be getting some support from the uh, union, from the teachers union. Uh, I don't know how much they're doing or how much they're giving. They're not giving me anything directly. They're doing whatever they're doing independent of me. And I'm not running on a slate. They have supported three candidates. I am one of them. What they do for the other two, I don't know. And frankly, I'm doing my own thing. I'm running because I care.